this is Hans at Do It Tennis, and I'm here with Rich Neighbor. He's the Western Sales Manager for Dunlop. Thank you for joining me today. So, Rich, tell us a little bit about the biomimetic technology that goes into the biomimetic line from Dunlop. Sure. The biomimetic, bio, being the study of nature, and mimetic is to imitate that. The Dunlop engineers, what they have done is they've inspired nature influences into a racket. The first one starting off is our arrow skin. The arrow skin, if you look on the outside of the racket, you'll see a little bit of a riblet. Uh, we basically got this uh, technology from a shark. If you look at the shark, a shark is not smooth. It actually has riblets on it, so it allows that shark to get through the water quicker. The same analogy we're using on a tennis racket to where putting an arrow skin on it, 25% less drag. So you're, whip and you're able to whip the ball kind of you, a little Exactly. Bit you're able air. to get the racket through the uh, air quicker, which creates more racket head speed for more power. Exactly. The second thing is, uh, is HM6 carbon. And what we've done is we've influenced this from the bees. If you ever look at the honeycomb shape that a bee makes for its hive, we've actually placed the honeycomb in the key areas of the racket. What that does, with the six-sided it is, it actually lets us take the frequency out of the racket, tone down the vibration of the racket, put more energy return and more feel into the racket. And who, want, who doesn't want better, more feel? Exactly. <laughs> That's what Dunlop is, uh, Dunlop is noted for, has been feel in the rackets, consistent feel. The last is our gecko tack grip. Uh, we, we've been inspired from the gecko. If you ever see the gecko, uh, the pods on a gecko has a nanoscopic. They're able to hang on a lot of different things. Well, by using that, and that same kind of tackiness that they have on their pods, what we've been able to do is get 50% greater traction on this grip than any of Dunlop racket we've had in years past. And that's great if you're if you're if you want a tacky grip, there's probably nothing better. Exactly. Uh, this is the Dunlop Biomimetic 200. Rich, tell us a little bit about uh, the specs on this racket. Who you know, ideal kind of a tennis player would be using this type of a racket. You bet. Uh, the 200 is geared for more of the intermediate to advanced player. It's a 95 square inch head. It is a 20 millimeter beam thickness on it. Uh, the weight on the racket is 11.3. Um, and tell us a little bit about uh, the way the uh, Dunlop Biomimetic line works. It, it goes from 100 to, to 700. Tell us a little bit about how those numbers work. Yes, the, the 100 is going to be for the player looking for more control. Uh, the lower the number, again for more control as you work up the line, the 700 is going to be a lighter racket. It'll be more powerful as well. Yeah. And tell, give us a, a couple of, uh, you have a couple examples of string that you'd recommend for, for a player using the uh, Biomimetic uh, 200. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, the first string, uh, uh, if you're a player that likes to use multi-filament strings, we have a, a very good string here called the Silk. Uh, again, if you're looking for a little bit more feel, a little bit more control, really bites the ball, um, the Silk is an excellent recommendation for a multi-filament string. And also very arm friendly, too. Yeah. So if you've had any shoulder or elbow issues, uh, this is a nice, definitely a nice string to have. Now for you players who, you know, want to use a polyester, uh, really want to rip the ball, uh, this string I'd recommend uh, for this racket would be the Black Widow. Uh, this is a seven-sided polyester um, and it does very well, really bites the ball well. Yeah. So this is the uh, Dunlop Biomimetic 200 tennis racket. Mm -hmm.